it's Erin. Let's talk landmines. Last week we went through some leg exercises that can be done on the landmine attachment at the gym. If you missed it, click the link above to check it out. This week we're going to go through some upper body exercises along with an abs exercise. So you can pretty much train total body on this piece of equipment. And I love the landmine because it gives you the range of motion of a machine. So you've got this guided arc that you follow for every exercise, but you still have to use your stabilizers like you would with free weights. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. With these exercises, feel free to do them one at a time or combine them all into a circuit. It's what I love to do when the gym is busy, you walk in, it's 5 p.m., and I guarantee the one piece of equipment that's almost always open is that landmine attachment. So without further ado, let's get into these exercises. The first exercise is a close grip chest press. Start with feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, keep your knees nice and soft, and keep your core tight. With this exercise, you don't wanna stand right up against the end of the bar, you'll back up maybe a half a step to a step. And this is gonna allow you full range of motion. It will help you better target your chest because you've got that forward leaning angle here where it's gonna work upper, mid, and lower chest, but more in the middle part of the chest. So if you're looking for that really nice kind of definition and separation in the mid chest, this is a great exercise for that. Elbows stay under the bar. Keep elbows as close together. Keep your wrists nice and straight. The next exercise is a single arm chest press using a staggered stance. Staggered stance can help with stability and balance because you're obviously pushing the weight on one side and you need a little bit more of a, a stable base to do that. So here, this variation is gonna work outer and upper chest and a little bit of that front delt too. Feet are just a little bit wider than shoulder width when you're in that stagger. And make sure when you're switching sides that both sides are even. So you're standing evenly with the stagger. Your angle is the same. You're pressing the same. The landmine's range of motion can really help you with that because that arc is not going to change much, but it's up to you to make sure your body's in that same position. And these unilateral or single arm exercises are awesome for evening out any asymmetries or imbalances. So if you've got one arm that's stronger than the other, which we all do, these single arm exercises are the way to go. The next exercise is a kneeling shoulder press. I love to do this exercise kneeling because kneeling takes out the momentum and then from this lower position, I feel a little bit more resistance. So you've got gravity working against you down here. Notice that the bar, the end of the bar is about even with the ear. So that's exactly where you wanna be. This neutral grip is really gonna help you hit those side delts. You'll hit all three parts of your delts, but this will mostly work the side delts. Allow the upper arm to go to about parallel and then press up from there. And again, when switching sides, make sure you're even from right to left. So you're working both sides evenly. Wrist stays nice and straight. And really think about that mind muscle connection here. You're in a perfect setup to work these side delts. You don't have to worry so much about the range of motion because you've got the landmine for that. And just worry about that perfect press or think about that perfect press. The next exercise is one of my favorites for side delts. This is a narrow to wide press. So I'm standing or I'm kneeling at about a 180 degree angle from the bar. So everything is in a perfect line and the bar is in line with the ear here. Wrist stays nice and straight, elbow under the bar. With everything being in line just like this and the motion of pressing from narrow to wide, you're really gonna target those side delts. So if that is something that's lagging or if it's something you wanna work on, give this exercise a try. I think you're really gonna love it. You can do them with dumbbells too, but dumbbells, a lot of times it's really hard because you're pushing both at the same time and it's not always easy to focus. With a single arm, with 
the landmine and the ability to just kneel and focus on the pure press, this exercise is going to be awesome for your side de development. So make sure everything stays in line on both sides. The next exercise is the T-bar row. Now you can do this with a handle attachment, you can do this with interlocked hands, or you can do single arm. So it is completely up to you depending on what you have and what you wanna train. So here, upper body stays at about a 45 degree angle. Now keep in mind, if you wanna train a little bit lower on the back, lean forward a little bit more, just keep that back flat. Conversely, if you wanna train a little bit higher on the back, then stand up a little bit higher but knees should stay slightly bent, no momentum whatsoever. Think about extending your arms all the way and engaging those lats. So from your hands to your elbow is just an anchor for the weight. You're gonna pull right through those elbows. Next, we move on to an upright row variation. This is awesome because you go narrow to wide. And again, this is a single arm or unilateral exercise. So you're able to train both sides separately and you're able to even out both sides. So when you make sure you're training both sides evenly, you have a tendency to work them evenly and um, one, one side will not be larger than the other. So here, start with a grip at the very end of the bar, I stand uh, the same angle of the bar. And then when you switch sides, make sure that you switch sides evenly, keep your weight evenly distributed, and just follow the path of the bar. So this is great because, again, you don't have to worry about range of motion being even. And just pull right up through the elbow. The angle of the bar also lets you keep your wrist straight. So if traditional upright rows hurt, this is an awesome variation because you shouldn't have any pain with this range of motion. So it allows everything to stay nice and straight and even. The next exercise is a Meadows Row or Meadows Row variation. Um, with this, I'm working a little bit more rear delts. So the Meadows Row, he'll bring his hips a little bit up on the side that's pulling to hit more lower lat. And for me, I like to focus more on the rear delt and the upper lat. So I'm not really interested in developing those lower lats because I don't want my waist to look super wide. So here, this is more rear delt focused. Go super light with these, if you're, especially if you're trying to hit those rear delts. Keep your back flat, keep your knees slightly bent, and do not use momentum. So make sure you keep your wrist straight and just pull straight up. And you're gonna feel it, especially if you stay light, you'll feel it a lot in those rear delts and your lats. Now if you wanna go heavier, pop that hip up and pull a little bit more back towards your hips and that's gonna hit more lats. We cannot neglect the abs. <laughs> so here's an abs workout that you can do with the bar. This is just a rotation. So control the weight on the way down and pop the weight up. And as you rotate down, rotate your, your hips, rotate your feet, and then use your hips and your abs to power the bar right back up again. So you're gonna feel this throughout your body. So it's a great overall core tightening exercise. And I like it, it's a good finisher and it's one of those non-traditional abs exercises. So if you're tired of doing crunches, give this a try, and you'll find that three sets of 20 without any weight is a pretty good workout, surprisingly. The 45 pounds adds up. So make sure that you're controlling the bar on the way down, exploding on the way up, and giving a little pause both at the bottom and mid rep to control it even better. If you have a bar and a sturdy corner, you're in business. So you can basically train anywhere. If you like these workouts and you do them, please tag me on social media. I would love to see your results. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know when a new workout comes out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard y'all.